everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. For today's workout, we're gonna need dumbbells and a chair. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you can either do the exercises with body weight or you can choose to hold something that you have in your house. For example, a gallon of water weighs about eight pounds, so you can use that to start with. Um, today I have my interval timer set to stopwatch, so we're going for reps and we're gonna time how long it takes to get through one round. I'm gonna do 20 reps of each exercise, 10 reps of burpees to start and end the workout. So all of the modifications will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, so check it out if you wanna know how many reps to do as a beginner, more advanced, how many rounds, all of that information will be there. So let's get started. Exercise number one is 10 burpees. Here we go. Jump down, push up, Jump forward and up. Stepping back and across, weight comes to shoulder height. Step back at an angle, bring the weight to the outside of your hip, bring it up, step forward. All one side, then the other. So controlling the movement, controlling the twist. My cat's not making this easy. <laughs> So again, controlling every aspect of the movement. Thank <sighs> you. 
that's 15, five more. dumbbells for this one or one if that's enough for you you can even use a barbell if you have it core tight weight palms point toward your legs back stay straight throughout the movement that's the most important part hips press back back is straight squeeze through the glutes when you stand weight is in the heels drive through the heels to stand Press those hips back. Squeeze through the backs of the legs. We'll go with 19, 20. I was talking, I get distracted. Um, next we have overhead split squat. So for this one, we're gonna use the chair. I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter weight because it's gonna challenge my balance. So we're gonna start with right foot forward, weight in the left hand. So nice big step in front of your chair. And you're going to stretch that left leg back onto the seat of the chair. If I can balance. Core tight. It's going to be an up and down motion of the hips, not forward and backward. So dumbbell can stay at your side. Or if you're ready, hold it overhead. We're going to drop straight down. Press up. Core tight. Bend that front knee to 90. step forward, I need a little more space. Did I say 14? Left leg is forward. Nice big step again. Until your toes are on the chair. Weight goes overhead or it can stay at your side. Core tight. Hips go straight down. Push through the heel to stand. Challenge my balance. That's ten. Okay, 
15, five more. That last one was hard. <laughs> okay, next we have calf raises. So, two ways of doing this. If you need balance, you can hold on to the back of your chair. We're gonna stand on one foot. You're gonna drop and lift, drop and lift. If you're ready for the extra challenge, grab your dumbbell. As always, core tight. Hold it at your shoulder height. Start standing on your right leg. We're going to lift and drop. Oh. Same thing on the other side. So we're going to stand on our left foot this time. Right leg presses back. Core tight. One. My balance is much better on this side. Okay, next we have weighted plies. So we're going to turn our feet out at an angle. When we lower, we're going to try and get our thighs to parallel. Don't let your knees collapse in. You want to keep them pressing out the whole time. And you can either hold your weight like you would in a goblet squat, or you can hold it between both hands. I'm going to increase. I forgot I still had the lighter weight. <laughs> so. Toes turn out, knees press out, core tight. We're gonna lower to parallel. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Try and press them together and through the glutes. You wanna squeeze them tight as you stand. Keep those knees pressing out. Pressing out, chest lifted. Last one, 20. Last exercise for this round, 10 burpees. The chair out of my way. Here we go.
Two more. Last one. Okay. So the whole workout took me 14 minutes and 49 seconds. If you are up to it, you can repeat. How many rounds I do will be on my blog. And we burned 170 calories in that short 15 minute workout. So repeat it if you're up for it. I'll break down benderfitness.com. And don't forget, click like if you like the workout. Click subscribe if you like getting pre-workouts. See you guys there next time.